This emergency electrician, who is a client of mine, is based in the borough of southeast London called Bexley Heath, and his business is located right here. The area is so big that even ranking number one on Google Maps in his own backyard is a challenging task. In addition to the size of the area, he is also facing tough competition. Searching for emergency electrician Bexley Heath on Google Maps shows there are no less than 15 other electricians nearby targeting the same keyword. Thankfully, his search engine optimization work pays off and despite the size of the area and the number of competitors he is facing, it does rank number one for his particular term, which is the main service he provides. And this number one ranking is not limited to a small radius around his location either. As you probably know, the further away your business is from the searcher, the less likely your Google business listing will rank at the top of Google Maps. But when I run a scan to find where my client ranks for this keyword from anywhere within the entire borough where his business is located, you can see it consistently ranks number one. And this is the first tip of the day. Before attempting to rank for multiple locations, make sure you dominate your local area. If you don't, what do you think the chances are to rank outside of it? If you feel confident you already dominate your local market for your targeted keywords, it's time you consider extending your reach to other locations. The best way of extending your reach is to build what I call city pages or location pages on your website, just like this one. In this example, the purpose of this page is to rank my client's website for emergency electrician related keywords in the borough of Bromley in local search results located about nine miles away from my client's location. Unfortunately, there is little to no chance his Google business listing would ever rank in the Google Map Pack for such keyword for that location. His business is too far away from it and there will be many more competitors based in that area that Google would rather show instead. So what's the point of creating city pages? Well, although you might not rank in the Google Map Pack with a city page, you can rank right below it in what I call traditional search results. And as you can see, this city page is number one in those traditional results. The beauty of this strategy is that you might rank for more keywords than you think. According to my tracking tool, this page ranks for seven top 10 highly relevant keywords, including the number one position for emergency electrician Bromley. And when I check the statistics for this page in Google Analytics, I can see that despite the fact it doesn't drive a lot of traffic, it converts very well. In the last 28 days alone, this page triggered five phone calls, most of which have likely turned into paying customers. Still think these numbers are too low? Maybe, if you only have one city page that is. But the compounding power of multiple city pages that rank number one in Google can yield great results. In this case, I believe it is reasonable to think that combined, all the city pages on my client's website generate an estimated revenue of $40,000 per year based on the conversion rate and the value of each call. But before you rush to your computer and start churning out dozens of city pages, here is what you need to take into consideration. Choosing which location pages you're going to create is obviously a very important step and should be based on solid assumptions if you want them to be effective. Let's start with the first one, common sense and instinct. I know this may not sound like it would be a solid criteria to rely on, but I do believe it is. As a business owner, you know your local market better than anybody else and the areas that are the most profitable to you outside your prime location it's even highly likely you've already served customers in those areas. So make a list of them, no need to go mad, five or six will do. These locations would need to be very close to your business. You wouldn't wanna start ranking for keywords in a city that is located miles away from you. If your business is located in Dallas, for example, there would be no point trying to rank for anything in Austin. But creating a city page for Arlington, however, would make a lot more sense. The next thing I suggest you do is keyword research. Using any tool of your choice, figure out what the most popular keywords are for your city pages based on search volume and how hard it would be to rank for them. If you have set up Google search consoles for your website, I also suggest you have a quick look at the performance data and the queries that are triggering your website in search results. You might already rank for keywords for some locations without you knowing it, but because there isn't much relevant content on your website for those locations, 
you don't rank very high. Building specific pages for them will make a huge difference. The other place you can look at is your Google Business Profile Insights Report. Log into your Google account associated with your Google Business Profile. Search for your business name. Click on the link situated right under the title, Your Business on Google. In the pop-up, click on the keyword panel. In there, you'll find all the keywords that have triggered your Google business listing in the results. Scroll down the list. You should be able to see location-related keywords that have resulted in your Google business profile being listed in nearby areas. Although your listing won't rank very high for those queries because it's too far away from those locations, it will still be displayed in search results and the queries that have triggered it will be captured in this report. This means Google sees your business as being somehow connected to these locations and an indication that it is worth building a city page for them. Last but not least, check out who you are competing with. Whatever keyword you want to rank for, look at who is ranking number one for it. You may be facing some really tough competition, which could prove difficult to beat. If you are in the same market as some big brands who have done their search engine optimization homework and also built their own city pages, it might end up being a David versus Goliath type of scenario. Make sure you pick your battles and either consider targeting less competitive keywords or a different location altogether. You'll also want to check the content page that's holding the number one spot so you have an idea of what you are competing with and do better. This is what I'm going to talk about next. But before I do, I'd like to ask you a favor. Please hit the like button as it helps my channel grow and allows me to continue making more videos so I can help you out. Thanks a lot. Moving on. The content of your city pages should obviously be relevant to the location and service you want to rank for. Make sure the keywords you are targeting are included in the meta title of your page, as well as the header and as high as possible in the content itself. I also use pieces of content that are specific to the area, for example, a Google map and a discount or promotion that is only redeemable by the people who live in that area. I bring credibility to the page by including testimonials from local customers on the pages and examples of jobs that have been conducted in the area itself, which include pictures taken on the job. The purpose of doing all this is to make the page as useful as possible to the visitors, but also to let Google know this page is about a very specific location. The idea is to make your page as relevant as possible, but also to create unique content. Why? Because if you don't make it unique and start building identical city pages that all share the same content, like in this example, they might end up being considered as duplicate pages by Google. Google doesn't like duplicate content and advises website owners to avoid creating similar pages. Instead, you should minimize similar content or consolidate your pages. If you don't follow the advice, Google claims they do a good job of choosing a version of the content to show in their search results, which means your city pages might end up being filtered out from search results. That's why it is important you create city pages with unique content. Or is it? In most cases, I do follow Google's recommendations and guidelines. That's why when I started creating city pages for my client's website, I made sure the content was truly unique for all of them. The results, pretty much all of them ranked number one in Google's organic results for my targeted keywords. But if you've never created city pages before, you will find they are not easy to build. They take time and effort. I heard at a recent local SEO conference that even though Google claims they do a good job of filtering out duplicate pages, it might not be 100% true and creating similar city pages could be a very effective strategy. So I put this theory to the test. Seven months ago, I created five new city pages for my client's website, which were almost carbon copies of existing ones. I also started tracking the ranking results for these pages using one of my SEO tools, Ahrefs. Here is how some of these pages performed. This is an example of a location in Southeast London called Erith, where I am targeting the keyword electrician. Using the keyword research technique I explained earlier in the video, I found that Erith would be a good city page to create since my client site was already ranking number 30 for the keyword electrician Erith with his homepage. 
This is represented by the orange line here. Google picked up on my new city page shortly after it was published and started ranking it instead of the homepage for that keyword. You can see the switch happening here and a new page now showing in blue. Since the content of the page was a lot more relevant, it jumped to position 8 almost overnight and over time has continued to climb to claim the number 2 ranking spot. I'm confident it's only a matter of time before it goes to number 1. Here is another example for another city page for a location called Bo. Very similar scenario here. Initially, the home page was ranking number 26 for this keyword and as soon as I published a city page for this location, Google made the switch and my cloud now ranks number one for the keyword electrician Bo. So it seems that despite the content of these pages being very similar to existing other city pages, it hasn't stopped them from ranking at the top of Google search results. Creating unique content for city pages is still my preferred option and is likely to last the test of time. But if you are short of time and want to achieve results fast, creating near identical location pages is definitely worth a try. Please note that if you are in a very competitive market, this technique may not work. If this is the case, I would then suggest you update the content of the pages you've created with, you know what I'm going to say, unique content. To help your city pages rank in Google, it's important you promote them. The easiest way of doing this is to link out to them from the many pages across your site and more specifically your homepage, which is the most powerful page, like I have done in this example. I also included links to these city pages on every service page of the website, which carries additional weight and signals to Google these pages matter. Finally, I have created a specific page called Areas We Serve that provides easy access to all the locations where my client is able to provide his services. This page serves multiple purposes. I can list all my city pages once more. It's easier for visitors to quickly see if my client operates in their neighborhood and it's yet another chance to rank for more relevant keywords. In this case, I am targeting electrician-related keywords for East London. Although it was only created three months ago, this page is steadily climbing up the ranks and currently ranks number 12. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to press the like button or subscribe if it was your first visit on this channel. And until next time, happy marketing.